Hello and welcome to yet another episode of um, I Messed Up. This one is quite funny because it literally was just a typo that was in the code that I had done and that I pushed into master. Actually, I did a merge request and then the merge request got accepted and landed into master, breaking KD Plasma for everyone who was not using the contrast effect I discovered, but it wasn't that easy. So say hello to my green screen as it will now disappear. This is the merge request. It is actually a pretty big one and I've talked about it. It reworks the look of everything. <laughs> No, just the corners. It makes the corners more, you know, rounded and um, also adds some very faint outline to KT Plasma elements. I would show it to you, but I don't have it applied right now. You can see the screenshot and you can also watch the video that I've done talking just about this patch. So the thing is, it got discussed, stuff like that, and then it got accepted and landed. But there was something, there was a mistake that I had done. And uh, I discovered about this because I received in the merge request itself a comment about another developer who was like, um, hey Nicolo, when I use Kitty Plasma, everything looks like this, which is wrong. <laughs> Do you know what's up? Because, you know, I've tried to triage like where was uh, this coming from? And it turns out that it's from your patch. So what's up? And I look at this and I mean, if you learned anything about me, you should know at this point that whenever somebody tells me that my code is wrong, I'm like, you know, it works on my machine. So it's your fault, but just kidding. I was actually very weirded out by this screenshot because it is wrong, surely, but it's wrong in a such a weird way. So let's try to understand what's going on. So this is the screenshot, let's zoom in. So this is a screenshot of the system tray, but this happened to all dialogues. So even Keyrunner and you know, everywhere, all dialogues had this weird bug on the left. So what's happening is that the left element of this dialogue, instead of being taken like as the left element, it was taken as the entire SVG. So you can see that this thing here, let's zoom in. This thing here is the entire SVG for the dialogue. So in theory, you should only take the left part and use it to draw the entire left part. But for some reason that didn't happen and the entire SVG was used to draw the left part, which is weird. But what was even weirder is that I had tested my own patch, obviously. Other people had tested my patch and nobody had this issue. So what happens now is actually pretty funny. I just start asking questions to try and to understand what, what's up, what, what's going on. So the first one is like um, standard question. Does this still happen if you delete the cake and restart Plasma Shell? This in theory should never solve anything, but you never know. <laughs> it's like turn it off and on again. Sometimes it does work. So have you tried deleting Plasma Shell cake? And yeah, that didn't help. So do you have like any configuration or setup that might affect this kind of things? Like I had no clue why it was working on the tester's machine and on mine, but not on his. And obviously it's like, uh, no, I don't have anything weird going on. So next question, what about third party theme? Are you using a third party theme instead of Breeze? Because maybe the theme is broken. And he's like, no, all themes work fine except for Breeze, which is the default one. So it is your fault. At this point, we just switched to Telegram because I was asking too many questions, but without getting to the Telegram discussion, what else did I ask? So I, at this point, I've kind of guessed since it was working for other themes, but not for Breeze that I had messed up something in Breeze. The question is where? Like, okay, it's in dialogues. So it's probably a messed up that I've done on dialogues, but um, there are actually four different dialogues file in KD Plasma. This sounds weird, but there are four different styles of dialogues within KD Plasma. Let me actually show you. So this is the folder with, with all of the um, themes. This is the default, which is, you know, the default one. And now you have, okay, so widgets, um, where is it? Dialogues, it's dialogues, sorry, not widgets. Dialogues background, and this is the first file, that could be wrong, or it could be 
it could be inside translucent dialog background and this is the second one or it could be inside of solid dialogs background and this is the third one or it could be inside of opaque dialogs background and this is the fourth one all of these are doing different things so i tried to ask a question that nailed down which one of these four files it was how did i do that well if you set the panel to opaque it's going to use the solid one so i went to him and asked what happens if you set your panel to opaque and he says the bug disappears so it's not the fault of the solid one so i said what if you disable compositing because if that happens then you switch to the opaque one and he said if you disable compositing the bug disappears so it was not the compositing one so we're left with the normal one and the translucent one the translucent one is used, is used when you have a contrast effect and then the normal one is when you don't have contrast effect so i told him what if you disable contrast effect and he was like oh but i don't have it and it's like oh <laughs> oh i see what went wrong we all tested this merge request with contrast effect on which means that we all use the svg which is inside of translucent but apparently there is something wrong with the svg that is not inside of translucent but the normal one which is only used if you have contrast effect disabled so what did i do at this point i went on my machine i disabled contrast effect and surprise surprise i could reproduce the back so what was wrong let's actually see what was wrong because it's super easy so you see I've edited all of the files and we said that the normal one, which is dialog background SVG is the one that I broke. So this one, let's actually give it a look. These are all of the elements that I changed. Can I see the new file? Uh, yes, but the code, thank you. Ah, no, not LibreOffice, no. Okay, so this is the new code that I made. So we know that the issue is, the, is with the left element. Luckily, all the elements are named in a meaningful way, which means that the top element is called top, right element is called right, and the left element, you might have guessed, is called left. So we can just search for left. And look at here, look at here. This element, which is supposed to be the left element, is actually called left three. So what happens? This SVG is loaded and the theme is like, okay, do we have a left element? And they search for left and they only find left three, which is not left. So they say, no, there is no left element. And since we don't have a left element, we'll just use the whole SVG as a fallback. So what's the fix? You might have guessed it's just to do this. That was it. That was the entire fix. I just, okay, so what happened? Well, it's not quite a typo now that I think about it, but it's that stupid. So what I did is that uh, since we have four different files with the very same exact things inside of them, not the same exact, but very similar things inside of them, what I did is just like copy pasted the same element four times, right? And the fact is that when I copy pasted this element, we still had the old left element. So you can't have two elements with the same ID. So when I copy pasted the new ID, instead of being called left, because left already existed, got called left three for some reason. Of course, then I actually deleted the old SVGs. So the old left went away, but the new left was still named left three. And I thought, like I knew about this obviously, and I thought I had correctly rename everything to have a correct name, but I missed this one. I, I somehow just missed it. That was it. So now that I have throughoutly explained to you how messed up, like <laughs> how much I can mess up, mess up the little things, let me switch to thanking everybody who is paying me for doing these kind of mistakes. Thank you so much all, to all of the patrons. And uh, if you would like to support both the YouTube channel and also all the KDE development that I'm doing these days, I'm into like exams, university exams. So it's a bit, little bit less than usual, but I'm still trying my best. So if you want to help out, you've got like links, there's Patreon, Libra Pay, PayPal, Ko-Fi, everything in the video description. And if you can help out, that would be great. It actually helps me, you know, go on with all of this. And I'm also trying out to improve the quality on, of everything. I've got new lights, new green screen, new everything. So 
I'm, I'm trying my best. Thanks everybody for following and uh, see you tomorrow with yet another video. This green screen is actually pretty nice. I like it. I can move it around.